everybody? Oh, good, the microphone works great. Ah. So I'm an evidential medium. My passion is one-on-one -on -one readings with people. How many, how many people here have had a reading with me? Yay, yay, good, good, good. And um, so you know there's one-on-one -on -one readings, there are group readings like we uh, witnessed last night, a wonderful demonstration of that. It's, uh, I was talking with them earlier, getting ready, and they said, you know, the people here won't hear much that they don't already know, but it's the energetic experience. That's what this is about. Also, it's the experience of seeing the change in the medium, what comes over the medium. They, my guides will be sharing with you today love. Pretty much that. We it. get in an expanded state of awareness. I go as deeply as I can into that expanded state, and I simply surrender my focus on the Suzanne story. And I just shift my focus, my identification, to the greater self. And I invite in my team to completely merge with me. My team told me to call them Sanaya. And it means uh, eminent, distinguished, and of the gods. It also means flash of lightning. I didn't know that until years after they gave me that name. And it's exactly how my stepdaughter Susan was killed by a flash of lightning, which is a very appropriate name then for my guides. Uh, because I'm in this work because of Susan. It's all about raising our consciousness. This is why we do this, connecting us all. Will you shut those doors, please? <coughs> okay. So during this three minutes, you can do whatever you'd like, but just think about love. We're just all coming into resonance with each other. This is the purpose of this three-minute Enter me a favor and I'll join hands. Don't worry across the aisles. Just join hands for a second. I love to do an invocation just to remind us why we do this. Hmm. In awareness that all is spirit and we are that. I'm so grateful to be here with this group of kindred spirits gathered together to experience the presence of spirit. May we all join our hearts as one. May we set our human minds aside and tune in today, not with our ears, not with our eyes, but with our hearts. May what we hear today speak directly to the heart. May each of us hear exactly what we need to hear today. May healing take place on many levels as a result of our presence today in this higher refined energy. As we fill this room with love and gratitude for experiencing this together as a group. All right. Thank you. All right. <coughs> okay. Whew, so I'll see you later. <laughs> okay. It uh, could take up to two minutes, but I don't think so today. Okay. Yes, I'm recording. Thank you. energy is quite high this afternoon and it has been a while since this one hath felt such high energy for we have sent her on the road with the husband and the puppies and they are not usually in such high energy as this and never have they been in the company of so many who communicate with the other side a room full of mediums a room full of spirit communicators a room full of those with the strongest of desires to communicate with those who have passed. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We are quite pleased to have your attention this afternoon. And it is not a sideshow to see the medium looking strange. It is an experience of the presence of what you are. For all of you are spirit. Your English language gets in the way of your understanding who you are. Yes, you have heard just a few minutes ago as this one spoke of the story. Always she points to a name tag with your name on it. Many of you given your name 
when you entered into this physical world, and that became your identity. You learned to respond when people called out that name as if that is your soul identity, and nothing could be farther from the truth. <sighs> Who are you? This is the question to ask when sitting in the silence. Who am I? And the answer is, I am love. You have heard another of the speakers who understands who you are. State, I am light. And that also is correct. You might also state, I am awareness. And these three terms, using your English language to put into words that which is indescribable, are indeed your eternal nature. What means this word, eternal? It means undying, everlasting. And that is what you are. You are here to explore the afterlife. Is that not what you call in English an oxymoron? <laughs> For how could there be anything after life if there is no death? And so you have an entire conference and need to change the name. <laughs> there is no afterlife. My friends, there is only life. And you are that. Feel into that. How does it feel to be life? How does it feel to be love? Do you know that we are in love with you? How does that feel? To know that you have always been that what most human beings spend their entire lives seeking love, appreciation, admiration, to be worthy of something. What is that thing that so many turn their lives upside down seeking that thing is no thing at all. It is what you are at the deepest level inside of you. And you, beyond the story, already know this. You already know who you are. Can you feel it calling your name? You have responded to a human name, and this name will remain behind with the body when the body no longer serves the soul. But you will take with the soul what you have learned here. It is indeed a school, that school of hard knocks and you get knocked down, and you pick yourself up only to be knocked down again. And somehow you find the strength to pick yourselves up over and over. What is it that gets you on your feet again? It is the soul that knows it is eternal, that knows you came here making a conscious decision to come to the school of hard knocks. Yes, you were that insane. <laughs> <laughs> but you get up. That is what you understand as comic relief, is it not? <laughs> this gets a bit heavy, for there is not a one of you here who has not faced the challenge that has brought you to your knees. Is that not why you are here? And we hear you 
loud and clear. The poets are always present. And so you get up, for strength is your name, and courage is your name, and love is your signature. It is an energetic signature that you carry with you. Have you been radiating it enough? Could you possibly turn it up a bit? You are the ones who control the dial, not those around you. Please, we ask you to cease requiring others to so-called make you feel better. This is your responsibility. You do that. We are giving you energy today. It is called remembrance. This energy we bring awakens remembrance at a soul level. Do you feel it? I remember this. It is why I got out of bed when I only wanted to go home, my true home. But my friends, you are already home. For there is no afterlife. There is only life. Look around you. Look around you and see life living itself. See it in the faces around you. See it in the faces that shed tears. See it in the faces that smile. Experience life as arms wrap around you this weekend and your heart swell with the fullness of remembering who you are. Yes, it is a secret and the secret is getting out. I am that. <sighs> Would that you could all speak to each other in these words. Would not your world change overnight? But so many forget who they are. They identify with the story. That is quite fine. It is not your responsibility to change the world. <laughs> You cannot do it, but you can change yourself, and it takes an instant. That spark of light that is like a pilot light on a stove. Have you ever had the experience of trying to light a gas stove? What does it do? It goes click, click, click. That is what is happening within you as your light is trying ever so hard to ignite you in a burst of knowing. Whoosh, I am. I am here. And when I am no longer here in form, I will be here. And I will be here eternally as awareness, as love, as life unfolding, as you and you and you and you and you and you, the story, all of it intertwined, every bit of consciousness equal in value, equal in worthiness. All of you equal in love. Our greatest desire is that you leave this room seeing every other one around you as love, reflecting back into your eyes our message from this morning, the love that you are. That is our desire. But you understand, it will be quite easy for you to walk around the rest of the day and on an angelic high. In this 
energy of love, sharing it with others, quite a delight, and then you will go out and get in your cars, and someone who is not in on the secret will cut you off, and there it all goes. <laughs> that, my friends, is also life. Life. And if you were to stay in this refined environment of the Everlife Conference, then where would be the learning? For well, it is quite simple here, is it not? And yet, ah, when that poor ignorant soul cuts you off, there, my friends, is the true opportunity to grow. For you can make gestures and say your curse words, or you could have understanding and say, that is life. I am love, and it matters not what others do, for I am here for one reason only, to remember who I am. And that is not always easy for the human being, but you are both human and spirit. What a blessing, what a blessing to come to that awareness, for then there is an escape from the drama, always. And it is merely that shift in focus. Once that spark has ignited and the light within is burning bright, it may dim a bit as you interact with dimmer lights, but once ignited, it glows ever brighter. And you will realize it has been within you all along. It is life changing. And you did that, but not you with the story, you the soul merging in awareness with your story. This is the state that all can achieve. The awareness of self as the story with a name on it and the eternal soul. But let's kick it up a bit, one level higher, as pure, undivided oneness. But that is a state which has no words, pure awareness. For now, if you can get to the state when you see yourselves at an equal level with each other, not comparing, not judging, but realizing that that one who acts a bit different than you, that one who does their ability just a bit different than you, is perfect. For life gets to know itself through its diversity. How boring if all were exactly the same. My friends, the only thing that is all the same within all of you is your love. If you only had any idea how very loved you are from the higher dimensions you would not do such silly things to get love. It is our goal to get you to remember. And now, as promised, so that you would know that this one has not memorized these words, we will answer a question or two. <clears throat> Is there a one of you with a question which would benefit the entire group? We are delaying just a moment here so that you can gather your courage to raise your hand in front of all of these people. <laughs> and so, if there's a, one of you here with a question for the spirit world, please ask it now. Sanaya, what is the greater wisdom with the loss of a child? The greater wisdom with the loss of a child is that you, the parents and the family of that child, are the bravest of the brave. For in most cases, there was awareness that the life of that child would be not the length that the human is 
used to. You feel this is an unfairness that that one who had such a bright future has been taken from you when there is great purpose in all life. If there is no end to life, then there is no death. And the greater wisdom is to see this eternal ongoing life and to see and we know it is no salve to wounded ears and hearts, but to see from this passing to the next reality, the greater growth can be had here. It is a contribution to the whole. When you can cease seeing your individual tragedies as a chance to raise the vibration of the whole, then even greater things come from the passing of what appears to be an individual. The greater wisdom is to ask the question, what is to be gained from this event? To see it not only as a tragedy, that is the human view. Indeed, it is a tragedy at the human level. We acknowledge this but you are both human and spirit. When you can come to appreciate it is a tragedy, but at the same time, that child has been welcomed to the next reality with loving arms, is quite fine and is in fact still interacting at this level, leaving signs, leaving messages, sending feelings of love so that you can feel the presence then you are drawn into soul awareness and those around you can see the healing and can be healed as well. So many opportunities for growth. Loss of a child is not a loss in one sense, that of the soul which can never be lost. We thank you for your contribution to the whole, those of you the parents in human form of one soul family. Is there another question? State your question more loudly, please, for those to hear. And the question asked at the same time will be the third and final question. So there is no mistaking. Hold on to your question. Please repeat again loudly for all to hear. with the spiritual world. And there you have a pioneer in spirit communication. Such dedication is seen from the spirit world. She has asked what you understand as a rhetorical question for that one is quite familiar with why it is so important to improve communication with the spirit world. For those of you gathered in this room understand the importance. It reveals to those around that this life is not the end. It reveals to those around that this life has meaning when you communicate with evidence with the greater reality, does it not? Could there be anything more important than to bring this awareness to all beings, but understand that the ignorance with which you are faced is part of the process. Do not grow disappointed or frustrated that those around you are so slow in coming to understand that the greater reality is right here and right now. It is a process, and we wish to assure you all is moving along quite well. Is it not <coughs> magical for you to hear the latest and greatest news in spirit communication? Does it not fuel your desire to be part of this, to jump on the so-called bandwagon and be a voice for those who no longer have a voice, to share with those who do not know the greater reality that it is real. All of this serves to raise the vibration of humanity and is not that the purpose of life. Yes, we thank you for your question. 
and the one that was trampled upon. We will take that now. Uh, We are so grateful you have asked the question of suicide and there are no accidents, you understand. The suicide understood as the taking of one's life. You see immediately in your English terms that you are doing the impossible. Are you not? For you cannot take the life. You are doing, what you are doing is ending opportunities for growth at the realm of the human. And the opportunities here are many, and we are quite aware of the challenges faced by humans. And this is why those who do decide to end their opportunities and their growth here before the designated exit point, and yes, the exit points are quite real, why they are met not with judgment, but with understanding. No judgment, my friends save for the one who sees and feels the effects of their decisions upon those left in the human realm who were expecting what you understand as a full life with that one. We have just stated that a tragedy is a human comprehension. In the spirit world, this word has no meaning, save for our understanding of what this means to the human. It is not a tragedy for those on the other side. It is yet another learning opportunity. We have shared with this one that in most cases, those who end their learning opportunities early through their own free will choice often go to what you would understand as group counseling sessions where they sit and see the effects of their actions, where they decide as a group what would have raised the vibrations and what would help those remaining on the earthly level. No judgment, solely continued growth. We hope you understand it is not seen as a tragedy, merely a disruption in the soul's path because all of life is an ongoing process of growth, of learning, of readjustment, as learning takes place, then tragedy no longer holds the meaning that it does for the human. Do you understand? And so learn your lessons well here. As you find yourself suffering, there is great growth opportunity there to understand that suffering arises from misunderstanding. The thoughts control the suffering. Clinging to your human beliefs increases the suffering. Clinging to your beliefs that those who end their lives early are suffering adds to your suffering. And so it goes on and on and on. Do you see how the human can become trapped? And again we return to the concept of the shifting of focus to the higher realms where you can see with the greater perspective of the one. The greater perspective is one of peace. If you are not feeling peace, and we hear the tremor in your voice, and we understand your pain, and we wish to tell you, pain is at the human level, but you are both human and spirit. And you are so very loved. And your loved ones are so very loved. And surrounded by love, as are you here, yet it becomes a bit more challenging to feel it at this level, which is why it behooves you to sit in the power and ask, who am I? For until you have the true knowing in the heart that you are love, then you will continue to suffer, for you will only have one focus but you are both human and spirit. When life becomes too much of a burden, realize that is the human life, but life exists at many levels. You choose the level 
of your focus. We are in love with you. How does that feel? You choose this feeling. Turn it around and be in love with yourself. We bid you good night. had a talk with me just then, just like that, they're bursts, they're bursts, they don't need words. Every time that I've come out of this state, until just now, every time, it's the most awkward feeling in the world, because everybody's looking at me, you know. Just, <laughs> and the last time this happened, back in, my, in Florida, I went home in August for my mom's birthday, there were 200 people there, and I came out, and I was feeling that awkward feeling, and I was feeling so very human. And they said, is this not such a difference from what you were just feeling? Who are you? And in that moment, I went, oh, I remember. And they said, before you open your eyes, take that with you. And it's a total difference. So take that with you, okay? When you're feeling really human, Take that with you. Who are you? This is why I love everybody. I sit in this every day. Every day. It's completely transformational. You want some of that? Yeah. yeah, go get it. You have it right inside you, okay? You have it. It's you. And so when you're feeling less than, when you feel that way, you will know where to find that, okay? I love you all. See you. <laughs>